Hello guys and welcome back to yet another video. Now I'm not going to be featuring a what video for the next um, couple of days, maybe even a couple of weeks, who knows. <laughs> but I decided to add one of the most amazing games ever to the channel and that is The Settlers, the original Settlers. The one that was released on the Commodore Amiga back in 1993 and on the PC version in 1994, if I'm correct. Now, The Settlers has a special place in my heart, which, even though it's been, like, three decades, almost three decades, by this time, 2022, it has not left my heart, not for a single second. I totally, absolutely love this game. And today I'm going to show you guys how you can download it for free, there are at least four places that I have found where you can download it and run it for free without an emulator, by the way. So you don't have to go through these weird settings, etc., etc. And there's another option where you only pay approximately, I think it's five euros, four ninety-nine. Excuse me, four ninety-nine to be exact. And I will explain the advantages and disadvantages of each an option. So let's get into it right away. The first one, which is right on the screen, as you guys can see right now is from freegameempire.com. Now, I've already downloaded all versions. I've also paid for the other version that I'm going to talk about in the end. Uh, the links will be in the description. So just check it out, and let's talk about them briefly for a minute before I talk about the game itself. You go down here, you click on Download. I wouldn't recommend playing it now from the browser. It's best to just download the game. You click on Download. Uh, this pops up. You answer a very simple question, as you can see, I've already done it. 3 plus 1 equals 4, it's, you know, just to avoid spam. Um, and the second one, which is, again, for free, is from bestoldgames.net. You come down here, we click on download. As you can see, it's 1.78 megabytes. Um, and then number three is abandonia.com. You click on get it, and then you click on here, get it again to get the game to download. You can donate if you want to, it's up to you. The fourth site, which is also for free, is um, gamesnostalgia.com, where I was very pleased to see that um, there are four versions that you can download here. Well, actually, it's two for the two DOS versions for the PC and the Macintosh, and another two for the Amiga version. Clones of the Amiga, I, I assume, but they work exactly as the original, as far as I as far as I know. Um, which are, again, for PC and for Macintosh. Now, when you are on this site, I recommend that you come here anyway and you download the manual. The manual is very helpful. You're not going to read it in order to run the game for security or anything. This, that has been cracked. Uh, but you will need it in case you get stuck and you don't know what you're doing in the beginning and you're like, what do the different buildings do? What are the options? Are there any tips? Etc. Etc. And the last but not least, the paid version is a re-release from Ubisoft, which only costs 4.99 euros, as you can see on the screen right now, where I'm pointing my mouse. Um, you just make an account very quickly. You add to cart. You go to checkout. You download it. It's uh, it's an amazing version of the game. It's not the best version I've seen, and. Having said that, let's go to each and every uh, version. Let's give you a quick review. So, as you can see from the screenshots, uh, actually, wait, no, no, this is not a very, this is not a very good one. I think, uh, yeah, yeah. If you download the original Amiga version, you get a like the old classic window, which is kind of like a zoom in compared to this SVGA mode, which you have on the PC version. Now, 
the plus side is that on the SVGA version, which is right here, as you can see in the screenshot, is that you it has better quality graphics. You see a lot more detail farther out, etc., etc. However, the SVGA mode cannot be combined. Unfortunately, I discovered this after research. Cannot be combined with the original trick, which old timers know about, the one where you can link the cities, and you can steal resources and knights and have the enemy build for you. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, basically what you do is that you search the borders of your enemies, and if you find a road which is very close to the border, you, um, you build a flag, and then you special click, Special click is when you hold down the right mouse button and you left click. That's called a special click in Settlers, by the way, for those who don't know. You special click on your flag and then you can link the flag with the enemy's road, which is close to the border. And then you can start giving orders to the enemy, in inverted commas, to build for you um, to fill up your warehouses, strengthen your borders with his own knights. I find that hilarious, especially when the enemy then tries to attack you and his own troops are defending your castles, excuse me, your guard huts, your garrisons, etc. versus him. I find that absolutely hilarious. If you do it properly, it's amazing. It's an easier way to, to win the game. But, well, that's an option. Depending on what you want. You want better graphics, no linking, or the original zoomed-in version with linking, which makes the game a lot easier. It's up to you. So that's it for the free versions. The last version, which is the paid version, includes the SVGA mode. Uh, it doesn't include, of course, linking the cities. However, uh, there is also one option which only this version has, and that is to fast-forward time up to multiplied by 4 turbo. And guys, it is really fast. Really fast. And when you fast forward, of course, it fast forwards everything. That makes sense, right? So, of course, this could save you a lot of time when you're waiting for, uh, I don't know, uh, you're building many farms or a stock or a garrison, and you just it's just too tedious for you, and you don't want to wait. You're one of those guys who his or her blood boils. Well, I, I can get that. However... There are a few drawbacks in this version. Number one, the clicking is not so fast. And number two, holding down the right mouse button in order to scroll the... Um, uh, not the map. In order to scroll what you see on the screen, the main playing area, is reversed. So, beware of that. So, let's uh, say the options again. Original... Small screen linking cities. PC version, no linking cities, which was a bug, by the way. But SVGA mode. Ubisoft's re-release, no linking cities, as per the PC. Super VGA mode. Fast forward modes, times two, times three, times four. But some of the options are reversed and clicking is not so fast. You take your pick. As I said before, the links will be in the description and after this video I'm going to give you some tutorials on how to play the game and be better at it for those who already know the game. Um, think about watching them anyway, liking the video, and the other videos, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notifications, uh, share it, it really helps, and I'll see you guys in the next one.